Hi, my name is Sarah and this is my vegan grocery haul. So I've been a vegan for two years now, two years and a half, um, and it's an issue that's pretty close to my heart. Um, I, I became a vegan for ethical reasons, I don't agree with the treatment of animals, and I feel like everyone can benefit from reducing their meat intake. I'm not going to try and convince everyone to become a vegan, I realise that's not realistic, but even having meatless Mondays or just one day a week it can be very beneficial for the environment, for animals, and for yourself. So I love watching vegan grocery hauls and I think that they're super inspiring for when you you just... People tend to eat the same thing every week. I don't know if that's just me. I tend to get into ruts where I eat the same thing over and over again, the same five meals every week. Um, and so I, I think that grocery hauls are really good for shaking things up. More than anything, I prefer to eat plant-based, but there are some things that do really make meals a lot easier. For instance, something like tomato paste. And along that same vein, I have 100% real salt-reduced vegetable stock. Apparently made from scratch. It's vegetable stock. And lastly, in the same vein, I have cans of beans and tomato. So I buy a lot of diced tomato. They're good bases for things like lasagna, pasta sauces, and canned lentils, and canned beans. I do not have the patience to cook my own beans. And as most health professionals will say, it's, it's way better to eat these things from a can rather than not to eat them at all. Next up I have classic chunky salsa, smiled. It's good for burritos, good for spicing up things, but not literally spicing up things because it's mild, so. And we can't forget barbecue sauce, good old barbecue sauce. I've been obsessed with this recipe, this tofu, tofu marinated recipe. It's barbecue marinated, it's mostly barbecue, it's brilliant, it's amazing. You fill a pan with one part barbecue sauce, one part vegetable stock, and then a little dash of soy sauce and garlic and nutritional yeast, and then just marinate your tofu in it. You can throw it straight in the oven even, and then let it boil it down until it thickens, and it's like the most delicious tofu recipe ever. I, I do this recipe at least twice a week, which is why I'm using like one whole bottle of barbecue sauce a week. It, it's insane, and it's probably horrible for me. Barbecue sauce is like shit, but oh well, it tastes delicious, and I'm getting my nutritional yeast and tofu at the same time, so. Speaking of tofu, Next up I have just one tiny case of organic tofu. I'm not a huge fan of organic products. I feel like the science behind it claims that organic isn't necessarily better because they're still using pesticides, they're just using organic approved pesticides. That might be a bit controversial and if you have any more scientific research that you think I should read, feel free to yell at me in the comments. And while we're on the topic of soy, next up I have my trusty Vita soys. Vita soy is legitimately like the best milk ever. Okay, it's not legitimately the best milk ever. It's my favorite milk ever. I use the Calci Plus, which is filled with heaps of nutrients. It's got loads of calcium, vitamin A, vi vitamin B2, vitamin B12, and vitamin D. And then you have the chocolate milk, which is what I use in my coffees because I'm like a pussy like that. Um, it's filled with heaps of calcium, so you're, you're all set with calcium and you don't have to drink cow's milk. Next up is all of my wholemeal stuff. So this is um, bread, it's stone baked wholemeal and quinoa. I also have wholemeal mission, mission wrap and I also get wholemeal lasagna. And my wholemeal obsession is for a reason, not just the fact that white bread is like has literally no vitamins in it, it's just calories, but I'm almost anemic, I'm like iron deficient, and one of the best tips that I ever picked up was that, um, was that wholemeal is hugely rich in iron, so you can get a lot of your iron needs just through eating bread, so even if you don't like lentils or you don't like spinach, bread is a really good source. And as for spices and things, um, I have pretty much everything you need. Spices last for a long time. I was just topping up on basil and curry powder. 
curry powder is so amazing. I'm obsessed with curry powder. It's like, I am like a comfort food junkie. It could be like the middle of summer and I will be still be eating curries and lasagna and shepherd's pie. Before I get onto the vegetables, the big bag of vegetables, I have some shit food. So I found these really cool, okay. These are vegan chocolate chip cookies. I I was like, I get so stoked when I find a vegan product in my grocery store because we don't stock a lot at all. So I'm so hyped. I mean, like you get a lot of vegan, like, I don't know, crappy cracker biscuits, but not chocolate chip biscuits. I'm hoping they're amazing. And then I was looking through the health food aisle just for some something small and filling that I could take to work and snack on there. And I found this naturally nude smushed whole food bar. And it's like Coco Lemington. I've tried one of these already. And it's, it's pretty good for a raw bar. I'm not I'm not too much of a fan of a raw bar, but it 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 certainly doesn't take like taste like chocolate and it doesn't taste like lemingtons, but it tastes good for what it is. And next up I have my big bag of vegetables. <laughs> First up is cherry tomatoes, good for roasting, and I literally just spilled them all over my fucking room and I'm still finding them in the fucking carpets, okay? I'm begrudging these stupid cherry tomatoes. I honestly don't think cherry tomatoes taste that good, but they're way simpler to cook than regular tomatoes. You don't need any pesky chopping and they're basically the same. Then you have broccoli. I was thinking of skewering these along with some red onion and marinated tofu and I thought it would taste delicious. <sighs> and you can't go wrong with a big bag of spinach. It's not that big. They didn't actually have huge bags. Um, but for the iron deficient, you can't go wrong with spinach. They don't actually sell adult spinach. I have to always get baby spinach, which is ridiculous. And then we have zucchini and eggplant. Perfect together, especially in things like lasagna. I think they mix really well flavor-wise. And then speaking of flavor, I have a green cayenne pepper. Should be good. I'm thinking of... I was thinking of stuffing, stuffing some mini capsicums or bell peppers, depending on whether you're American, um, and making a sort of spicy, delicious stuffed capsicum. And lastly, I couldn't live without a big bag of bananas. Bananas are just amazing, especially for, like, they fill you up if you're working and they don't take much space, they've got their own packaging, like, you can't go wrong with bananas. So lastly, in this grocery haul is like freezer fridge stuff. I'm, I'm actually not too fond of this, but I keep buying it because it, it's good for you. It doesn't taste that bad and it's, it's like travel friendly. And that is a chia pod. This is a vanilla bean one, which I'm giving a second chance because the first time I tried this, it was, I thought it was absolutely disgusting. Um, but I've been, I've been re-hooked on the mango flavor. Mango is like my favorite. Um, but I, so I thought I'd give this another chance. So I don't actually buy a lot of like vegan, big vegan brand items. Like those cookies I bought, I've never heard of them before. They just said vegan friendly on the front. They weren't a vegan brand. But then you have Veggie Delights. Lentil patties, which are my favorite of their entire. I've tried every patty that Veggie Delights has come out with. I've tried their mints, um, and these are my absolute favorite. Plus, they've got a lot of iron. Um, they're vegan. They taste really good, and they're not the sort of patties that are trying to masquerade as meat. No, you're not going to, it's not going to taste like meat. It is a lentil patty, and I like lentils, especially in patty form. Next up on the vegan friendly spectrum is a yogurt by Soy Life. It comes in blueberry, it comes in vanilla, it's just, it's soy yogurt. It has a bit of a weird taste, it takes a little while for you to get used to it, but I really like it. It's travel friendly and snack friendly and Vegans can eat snacks too. We don't just like chomp on cucumbers like all the time. And this thing I've tried before. Um, it's not something I'd buy every week, but it's for a specific recipe, and that is vegan choy soy cheese with added omega three. I I really appreciate the omega three in that. Um, and this is for those stuffed capsicums. I'm sort of doing a weird capsicum burrito Mexican sort of thing, so I'm gonna stuff 
them with a bean mixture and put this cheese on the top. And last up is something that a lot of people don't realize can be vegan. And it's an accidental vegan product and that's puff pastry. I only really tried puff pastry recently and I'm super 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 excited about it. Um, making like spinach and ricotta or spinach and ricotta and just curry pasty that's just it's going to be amazing. Um, I hope it turns out really well. So that was all for this grocery haul. I really hope you liked it and I hope it inspired you to buy some new things and try some new recipes. Um, if you do, let me know. I'd love to know. And if you have any suggestions for what I should buy, feel free to leave them in the comments. Other than that, check me out at thewalrusroomblog.com and at Sari Walrus on Instagram and say hello.